gonna start off with a foundation and I'm using the Nearly Naked Foundation from Revlon. I love the coverage. It's just really natural and light and it's definitely my favorite foundation for springtime. And I'm just using it with a powder brush. I think that it blends it out really well. I wish I had a kabuki brush, but I do not. So that really sucks. So that's what it looks like. And now I'm taking my Dream Lumi Touch Concealer, which brightens up my eyes because I get a really bad lack of sleep. Thank you Red Bull and Caffeine for keeping me awake. So now I'm just gonna dot that around and blend it out with my index and middle finger. And yeah, I tug. That's bad, don't tug. Don't look, don't do what I do. <laughs> and that is what I do. And then I take my Concealer RX and then just cover up my blemishes. You know how it is. And that is my face and my weirdness. And now I'm taking my Nearly Naked powder. And I love this powder so much. I really love the Nearly Naked line. And I'm just putting that around my face to take away shine and like sell my concealer and foundation. And that is it for the face stuff. Well, now it's time for like cheeks. So I'm using my Sunny Bronzer by NYC and contouring my face. And for my cheeks, I'm using the trusty, trusty, trusty Coralista blush. Yes, that is my favorite blush of all time. I love that blush to death. So I'm just putting that on my cheeks and it just adds a really nice blush and I think that's really pretty for spring. Then I'm taking a color tattoo in inked in pink and putting that on my lid. I really like pink eyeshadow in springtime, Please don't call me crazy. And now I'm taking my Too Faced Romantic palette and taking the pink color and putting that all over my lips. Why can't you let the others be? Cause with you is where I got to be. And now I'm taking that gray purple color and putting that on the outer middle half of my lid and then dragging it a little bit into my crease. This makes a little like radiant effect and I think it looks really pretty on the eyes. Now I'm taking the like chopish color and putting that all in my crease and blending it out. For my eyeliner, I am tight lining using the Urban Decay Eye Pencil in Zero, I believe. Yeah, it's definitely Zero. And then using my favorite, favorite mascara of all time currently is the Lash Potion. I love this stuff to death. It just clumps it very little, but enough to give it like definition and it really lengths my lashes and I love it so much. Oh my god, it's perfect. And then I'm taking my Ferris Nude Lipstick from L'Oreal and applying that all over my lips. I have a lot of scars on my lips, if you haven't tell, couldn't tell. So that helps. And then I'm taking my Just Being Visible Balm Stain and applying that on my lips. And that creates a really nice gradient on my lips and makes my lips look a lot fuller because I have really tiny lips. So that's it for makeup. Why am I such a weirdo though? Honestly. <laughs> okay. Here I'm just brushing out my hair. And to make my hair a little more relaxed and more structured, I'm using the Not Your Mother's Curling Spray, well, sea salt spray, that makes your hair curly and peachy and wavy and nice. And it just creates really structured waves slash curls for my hair, and I really like it.
my girls, Taylor Swift's Enchanted Wonderstruck with you. That smells like heaven on earth. If you haven't tried it, you should definitely go and check it out. You will love it. For accessories, I'm wearing my House of Harlow ring and my Michael Kors. All awkward, I'm not showing it to you yet. But I clipped my hair back a little bit to show up my face more and I'm wearing my Michael Kors watch. For my outfit, I am wearing a shirt from American Eagle and some jeans from H&M. And that is my outfit. How adorbs, right? So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll talk to y'all soon. Leave requests and comments below. Mwah!